an amalgamation of customs from different regions of China with a history of floods and famines. Chinese food practices are a reflection of hardship and poverty. Eating is one of the most important and enjoyable aspects of life. All social gatherings and festivals are focused on food, and dinner with family is the most important event of the day. Hi, my name is Simon Sum, a registered dietitian nutritionist of Chinese descent, and I was born and raised in Hong Kong. Now, let me tell you something about Chinese foods and traditions. There are many different Chinese cuisines, depending on which region of China you are referring to. For example, Canton, Sichuan, Fujian, Hunan, and Shandong are some popular cuisines in China. And due to the popularity of Chinese foods, Chinese cuisines has influenced many other cuisines in Asia. Chinese food staples like rice, soy sauce, noodles, chili oil, and tofu can be found worldwide. And I'm sure many of you know how to use chopsticks, the utensils we use to enjoy Chinese foods. The three main aspects used to describe Chinese foods are color, smell, and taste. Besides, the meaning, appearance, and nutrition of the foods are also important to Chinese people. For example, the vegetable lettuce, when pronounced in Chinese language, both Cantonese and Mandarin, sounds like money or wealth, and Chinese people believe that this will attract good fortune. Therefore, you can always see a dish with lettuce during Chinese New Year. When we talk about Chinese food, you may already think about rice in your head. Actually, rice is the major staple food in southern parts of China, and is usually eaten as steamed white rice. Rice can also be used to make congee, a very common breakfast item for Chinese people. A different type of rice called glutinous rice or sticky rice is used in special dishes such as glutinous rice balls or lotus leaf rice that you can find in dim sum restaurants. In the northern part of China, this is the wheat farming areas, and so people rely more on the flour-based foods, such as noodles, wheat bun, and Chinese dumplings. Soybean products are very popular in Chinese cuisines, and tofu is used in many dishes. Depending on the region in China, tofu is made with different textures and tastes, and nowadays, you can buy tofu with different hardness in the supermarkets. You may also hear other soybean products like tofu skin, dry tofu, and fried tofu in different Chinese dishes. And if you like blue cheese, you can challenge yourself to eat stinky tofu, which is fermented tofu with very distinct and potent smell. Hard stinky tofu is usually deep fried and eaten with soy sauce and chili paste. Regarding vegetables, Chinese dishes always include vegetables with different colors, and you will notice that we usually eat cooked vegetables instead of raw ones. I'm sure that you've heard about Chinese pop choy as a common Chinese vegetable. Some other unique ones include snow peas, watercress, water chestnuts, bamboo shoots are often used in different Chinese cuisines. Chinese dishes are famous of using a variety of herbs and seasonings, fresh ginger roots, garlic, green onion, scallion, cilantro are commonly used in the cuisine. Next time, try to marinate chicken overnight with light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, garlic, sesame oil, white pepper, and little cornstarch. We will make the chicken meat more flavorful. Chinese people celebrate a number of festivals and special occasions where particular foods are indulged in, and each one has history and legends behind it. For example, you may hear about mooncakes for mid-autumn festival. Mooncakes are usually round-shaped, and they are traditional Chinese pastries, which consist of a thin tender skin with a sweet and dense fillings. They are usually made with a sweet bean paste filling with whole salted egg yolk 
and golden brown flaky skin. Nowadays, mooncake with modern flavors like ice cream mooncakes and chocolate mooncakes can be found. The other famous Chinese festival is the Dragon Boat Festival. And in this festival, we usually eat zhongzi, or in Cantonese, zhong. These are cream shaped dumplings made of sticky rice and wrapped in bamboo or reed leaves. They are usually sweet in Northern China region, but in Southern China region, they are usually savory and have different added ingredients like meat, shrimp, mushrooms, mung beans, and salted egg yolks. Next time, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, remember to ask the waiter which part of China is the cuisine coming from. And I hope you enjoy all kinds of Chinese foods.